What a year it's been for our UTSA Roadrunners. They're 7-5 and five entering the final week of play, and they're taking on their rivals, the Texas State Bobcats. We've already seen UTSA accomplish being a winning team this season. They're 7-4 and four entering this final week, and all they can think about right now is hopefully going to their first bowl game in team history. It's their third year in the FBS. They had two 3-9 and nine seasons. Now the lowest they can finish is 7-5. and five. UTSA Texas State I-35 rivalry coming up next. This is the way the season should end. Two young football programs in the state of Texas going one-on-one -on -one to finish the year. Texas State on offense and Jack Rose, the quarterback, wants to scramble out of the pocket. He won't escape the pass rush. There is Jason Neal, the senior, playing his final regular season game and getting a sack on Jack Rhodes. Second down and 12 now. Option right side. Rhodes fakes the pitch and keeps it himself. He's up close to the first down marker and taken down about a half a yard shy. Third and inches. Hand off to Terrence Franks. Jukes and makes a man miss. And then he breaks the tackle and he'll get the first down inside the UTSA 35 yard line. Second down and 12 now. Jack Rhodes will take off. He's looking for room to run. The ball squirts out. Neil forces a fumble and Jason Hull's on it. UTSA takes over another big turnover. They started the game last week with the same thing, but a little bit closer to the goal line. UTSA will take over on offense. Second down and eight out of the I formation. The handoff goes to the Richie battle up the middle, a three yard gain. That'll bring up a third down and four. Split back shotgun. Danny Moss and Anthony Banks next to Evan Newton. It's a screen pass. Caught Kenny Harrison. First down and more. Up close to midfield. This place is getting loud on third down and nine. Newton out of the shotgun. He drops back to throw to the sideline. It's caught by Whitaker. And they'll say he got a foot down in bounds. Um, I'm not sure he even did, folks. This is probably worth a review. Uh, yes, he leaps to make this catch, and both feet leave the ground, and they still mark him in bounds. They quickly get to the line and snap the next play now as Newton throws on first and ten. The ball's tipped, and it's nearly intercepted. Texas State almost got the football back that way. Second down and ten now as Texas State brings defenders in the box. It doesn't matter because Glasgow's got room to run. Good lead blocking, and he's got a first down. Second down and 10, and Texas State brings the blitz. Newton immediately flush out of the pocket. He'll roll out to his right and turn up field. He's got the first down across the 20-yard line. Good running by Evan Newton. Second down and 9. Newton off the play action. Fires to the end zone. He's got a man, and it's caught. Touchdown! Kenny Harrison leaps up and makes a great catch in the end zone, and UTSA strikes first in this one. 7 nothing Roadrunners with a great touchdown grab by Kenny Harrison and a good throw by Evan Newton to put it in the right spot. It'll be interesting to see if this game gets out of hand like last year's. It was 21-14 at a point in the fourth quarter, and last year's game ended up being a 49-28 victory for Texas State in UTSA's final home game, and now we're seeing UTSA off to a hot start against Texas State. Good job defending the run. I think they're well prepared for this game because of all these running quarterbacks they've played in this final stretch of games. On third and five, past the outside is hauled in by the tight end, Grant Childress. They mark him in bounds, and now Texas State's in striking distance. The hand off goes to Terrence Franks. He's in the red zone now. First down across the 20 yard line. Third down and 11. Now they have to get to the 7 yard line for a conversion. Rhodes lobs it to the end zone. It's intercepted by Adiki and he's going to take it out of the end zone himself. Across the 10 to the 20. Up to the 30 yard line and taken down. UTSA gets another turnover. That was a big mistake by Jack Rhodes. A throw that did not need to happen. UTSA football now for the turnover, and Danny Moss makes a catch over the middle. He can see his role expand next year after the graduation of David Glasgow. Second down and two, and Newton's going to throw off the play action. He fires it deep downfield, and it's intercepted by Tyler Chase. Evan Newton may have just taken an unnecessary risk. He just had a little bit too much confidence in his arm on that one. Cam Jones couldn't make the play. Texas State ball, Terrence Franks running free again, a first down, he's close to the marker anyway. Across the 45, they will give him the first down. Now out of the Wildcat, it's Terrence Franks keeping it himself, and nowhere to go. He just ran to Dom Carter and Cody Rogers, that's not a very good tag team to go up against. Third down and 11, Franks now firing to the outside, and it's nearly intercepted. Rogers almost had an interception, UTSA is going to take over after a punt though. Texas State's offense sputters once again, and now they're going to punt it to UTSA. Cam Jones awaits the kick at his own 12, and what a block by Johnston. Cam has room on the right side now, and he's open and free at the 50, across the 40, running down the sidelines. He's being chased, and no one will catch Cam Jones. The senior takes it 87 yards to the house, and UTSA is now up 
14 to nothing over the Bobcats. You can tell UTSA came into this game ready to play. Texas State third and two, handoff Franks. Looking for running room, he finds a first down and he'll get across the 40 yard line with 2.30 to go in the second quarter. Texas State would love to get on the board finally now before halftime as Rhodes will take off and no one can seem to keep track of him. And he's hit by Kyle Nichols and he's on the ground now in pain. And Rhodes may have to leave the field now for a while. And yes, we're going to see Fred Nixon, the backup quarterback, the sophomore, enter the game now for the first time. And on second and one, he wants to scramble and he's sacked from behind by a shot Mabry. That forces third down and two out of the pistol. Nixon's going to throw. Open on the left side. It's cut by Gilmore running free. And he's inside the 10-yard line. Maybe some blown coverage. But nonetheless, Texas State is now inside the 10-yard line for the first time today. Second and goal. Handoff goes to the Franks. And Dominic Carter. He has been something special. He has been on fire as of late. Third down and goal. Now handoff to Franks. And this time it's Tristan Wade with a big tackle. Great red zone defense again. Texas State has to get a field goal. At the half, UTSA has the lead 14-3. They have dominated most of this game. And one thing I wanted to mention, the Vikings franchise Week 17 regular season finale is up on my channel now. It's the last regular season game of the series, so go check that out after this one's over. The third quarter of play is underway, and Texas State has the ball on offense. Quarterback is still Fred Nixon. Jack Rhodes there appears to be over, and Terrence Franks back up the middle. He's had a great day on the ground. He gets the Bobcats first down. Now out of the shotgun, Nixon hands off to Franks again. Off tackle, has a block in the secondary, and he's across midfield and short of the UTSA 40, but Texas State comes out of the locker room in a hurry now on offense. First and 10. Nixon to the left side. It's intercepted by Tristan Wade. That's a momentum killer, and Wade, he's free, and Nixon can't catch him. Wade across the 30 being chased, and he's going to go all the way for a score. Tristan Wade to the pick six, and the UTSA Roadrunners now have a punt return for a touchdown, an interception return for a touchdown, and your standard passing touchdown. Texas State back on offense, and you can't escape Dominic Carter. I'm starting to think that Fred Arnold did us a favor when he committed to Colorado. Dominic Carter, he cannot be stopped right now. Third down and seven, and Nixon will throw. He fakes the handoff and dumps it to the right side. It's caught by Miller. He has a first down. He beat John Walker in the play, and he's close to midfield now, but we know how tough UTSA's defense gets once you cross that 50-yard line. Nixon on first and 10, and he's sacked back in the backfield. This time, it's Jason Neal again. Two and a half sacks on the day. It'll force a third down and 10, and Nixon will throw. He's got a man, and it's knocked away the last second by Tristan Wade. What range? We need another look at this one. You can see Nixon. He has a man open downfield. And Wade, look at the closing speed. And wait, was that actually a tip? He may have tipped it, but that was actually a drop. Either way, we'll take it. UTSA on offense. And now we're going to see the ground game get established. David Glasgow right side. The senior has got nine yards on this gain. 4.25 to go in the third quarter. UTSA is going to likely run the clock quite a bit now and try to just milk it away and take us to the fourth quarter and then end this one. They're up by 18 points. Second down and seven. Newton to throw. He'll scramble to his left being chased and turn up field breaks a tackle and he somehow gets six yards on this one. That's why I love watching this kid. Third down and one. Up back takes the handoff. It's Richie Battle. He's got the first down. I think it's kind of funny. We've seen Richie Battle get a 20-yard gain last week, and now he's getting the ball multiple times in one game. Second and eight, and Newton, what a throw on the run. That's a big-time throw to David Morgan. Moving to his right, he fires down to an open tight end, and now they're in Texas State territory. First down and ten. Newton back in the pocket, dancing, and he's going to throw in the middle, and Harrison makes a great catch over the top of a Texas State defender. It just seems everything is going UTSA's way. First and ten. Newton will hand off out of the shotgun to Anthony Banks. He starts up the middle and cuts to the left. He's got eight yards, and he's inside the 10-yard line. Second and two, maybe thinking play action here. Nope, it's a handoff to Banks. He's got room and touchdown, UTSA. And there, my friends, is a great deal of variety. Rushing touchdown, passing touchdown, interception for a touchdown, and a punt return for a touchdown. Texas State is getting ran all over by the Roadrunners. 28-3 right now in the third quarter. They're going to give up that short pass over the middle. Texas State has got to find a way to get themselves back in this game. they got to get some big plays quickly. First down and 10, and Nixon's going to throw only a three-man rush. UTSA says just bring it, and they're going to drop everybody back in coverage. And Nixon's going to take off, and whoa, that's actually a missed tackle by Dominic Carter. 
Fred Nixon spun off of the tackle, and now it's second down and four. Nixon takes the snap, screen pass right side, gets it off, caught by Franks, but guess who? It's Dominic Carter, gain of zero. Third down and four. Watch out for Dominic Carter on this play again. And Nixon's going to run. Here's Dominic Carter. He's going to take him down shy of the first down marker. Play after play after play. His kid will not stop. That's going to force a field goal attempt now by Texas State. I do not understand this call at all. And the kick is away. And, well, it stays straight the whole time. And that's not what they needed. UTSA takes over. Now it's fourth quarter action up by 25 points, and Newton's going to throw it. He's just moving around the pocket now, see what he can get done. He's just going to throw it as far as he can. It's intercepted by Mims. And UTSA's got to track this kid down. He's free, and he's going to be tackled at about the 23-yard line. All right, Texas State, what can you do with this opportunity? You're down by 25. You need a miracle to get this pulled off. Terrence Frank, screen pass, room to run, has a couple of blocks, and he's being chased across midfield. He's tripped up across the 40-yard line. Not a bad play. I'm not sure if their offensive coordinator has a play for the 25-point touchdown because that's what they need right now. And what a catch by Westbrook. He bobbled that one and had to turn around and make a fantastic catch. Too bad he didn't get any points. And now Westbrook over the middle makes a solid catch this time and no theatrics. And he's in the end zone for a touchdown. 28-10 to with five minutes to go. Texas State has the football down by three scores still. Pass the outside is caught by Perry and it'll force a third down and seven. UTSA is playing their cornerback soft in a cover three zone defense it looks like and the pressure gets the Knicks and he can't get the ball out before the screen pass was ready and this time it's Ashad Mabry and Richard Burge wanted to help him out as well. Texas State has the ball again now with 1.40 to go in the fourth quarter this one's all but over. Second and ten the pass is dropped by Perry. He would have been just shy of the first down, likely. And now it's third down and ten. Nixon will throw, and he'll fire to the outside, and Franks drops this one. So two drops in a row, and now it appears the Bobcats are headed back to their cages, and they're conceding defeat. They're going to punt it away, and Tristan Wade's going to have some fun returning this one. He breaks one tackle. Let's see what Wade can get done here. He's taken down to the 30-yard line. And now victory formation. Newton takes a knee. The game is over, and UTS say is eight and four following two three and nine campaigns we hoped utsa was ready to take that next step as a program this year they made considerable progress in our eight and four and they knocked off texas state just to be the icing on the cake and get their eighth win of the year they are more than bowl eligible and now it is time to reveal their postseason fate Final standings in the Conference USA look like this. UTSA finishes 5th in their division, 8-4 and four overall and 4-4 four and four in conference. The Heisman Trophy this year will be taken home by quarterback David Pylon from Houston. We saw him in Week 2 this year, but now it's time to see if UTSA is headed to a bowl game for the first time in team history. UTSA will end the year against Florida State in the Armed Forces Bowl. And this will be one tough test for our UTSA Roadrunners. Luckily, they're playing the game in Fort Worth, Texas, a little over 250 miles away from San Antonio. And we'll see if UTSA can finish their great season with a huge underdog victory, taking on the first bowl victory in team history. Thank you for watching, everybody. We'll see you in the Armed Forces Bowl.